There must be something wrong with us to do what we do. We were told there was ten thousand dollars in that house, but when I got there, I knew the person who told us about it was wrong. There was no money. Dick wouldn't believe it though. He kept banging on the walls looking for that safe. He said when he was done, he was going to go upstairs and have his way with the girls. I wouldn't have that. So I went up there and I sat with him. That's nice. It was, it was real nice up there. And Dick came up and we turned out the lights and went downstairs to the cellar where we kept Mr. Clutter and the boys. Dick kept saying, no witnesses. I just figured I'd wait him out and we could drive all night and they never catch us. Mr. Clutter, we had his wrist tied up to a pipe above his head. And he, he looked like he was in pain, so we cut him down, laid him on the floor, put a box under him to make him feel comfortable. And he was just, he was just staring at me, looking at my eyes, looking at me like I was the kind of person, like, like I was, like I would kill him. I feel so ashamed. I mean, he was a nice, he was a nice man, he was a, he was a gentleman. At least I thought so right up to the moment I slit his throat. I didn't know what I'd done until I heard the blood, the sound, like someone drowning under water. Grabbed the shotgun and finished them off. Killed the boys, went upstairs, killed the girls. And I left. <laughs> I think we might have gotten like 85 bucks.